Holy fuck. I was watching Isma. Play it yesterday. Terrifying, dude. Like, terrifying. 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 I'm really scared. But guys, go follow Isma. He's a legend. It's from the Widers community. Really fun to watch. And it's such a wholesome person. I really like him. But okay. We have to go forward. So let's do it. Outlast. Die, dude. I don't want to play this game. Every time I started playing it, I had to stop doing so because I was really scared. Mm. I hate you guys. Just for you to know, I hate you all. King Aron Final. Este, mira. Esta zona es quick. Mira. Como estaría quick, la verdad. Pero no, no ganó. No ganó el de quick en mi votación. Ganó otra cosa. Y no me estaría detectando ahora que lo pienso. Hola. ¿Me detectas la, la ventana? Pues perra. Come on, dude. Just or the the monitor. That one, maybe. No, it's not detecting it. Oh, what is going on? One second, guys. We have technical difficulties. Specific window. Outlast. There we go. Okay, Gordo, are you happy? I'm going to play out Outlast. Fuck's sake. No squeak enjoyers here, child. Absolutely. But I have a question to ask. Do you guys put sugar on it? Or you you have the plain next week? Beat the screen. With sugar, let's go, dude. That's super giga chat right there. Super. Ah, guys, I want to play this. I will need your company. That's all I'm asking. Ese speedrun no de diabetes, no me importa, man. Es, es, le falta azúcar al Netflix normal. I will play it in normal because I don't wanna cheat my, my pants. It's no needed. We only have the we only have to, want to have the experience, that's all. Not anything else. All this contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! <laughs> You're Miles Esper, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist will dare investigate, you will seek all the dark secret at the heart of the Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. Try to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, 
or die. Lovely. I think I have this one. Yeah. Or die. Or die, guys. You can also die. <sighs> ah, guarda que hay desnudos y escenas bastante fuertes. Um, debería poner un stream mayor de 18, por las dudas. Es G cringe. Todo lo que sea animación va con G al principio. G cringe. Ok. ¿Cómo se pone un stream mayor de 18? Por las dudas de que no esté. Debería cambiar el título también. ¿Cómo poner? Canal Twitch. Más de 18. O sea, dudo que sea bañable, si no, no se podría streamear. No, pero bueno, si podemos estar seguros. Las dudas. Yo también dudo. Porque he visto mucha gente streamearlo. Pero no, nunca está de mal ponerle... Para mayores de 18. Me parece. ¿Sabes qué? Fuck it. No creo que pase nada. Ay, si ¿sí pasa. Um... Lo permabanea. Ok, tenemos que ir a... Acá tengo la... Eh, un segundo chat, voy a dejar de, de verlos. Ok, tengo que ir a... Channel. Eh, brand maybe? Mature, 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 mature. Feature content. Mature. What? Hang on. Nico, estoy intentando poner el stream para mayores de 18 Porque tiene contenido sexual, parece, el juego Y por las dudas, no me molestaría tener la, la etiqueta ¿Sabes cómo ponerla? Porque estoy buscándolo y no me aparece Y en Google, la última, el último post que hay Tiene como una interfaz vieja Así que no, es de la misma, no, no tiene la misma... No, viste que cuando hay veces que te metes en un stream, te aparece más 18 y te pide confirmar que seas mayor de 18 para entrar. Tiene que estar por acá. Eh, ahí está, listo, perfecto, ya está. Listo, guys, ya tenemos esto. Eh, vamos a poner el título mayor de 18 también, por las dudas. Y ya empezamos con esto. Por si no se dan cuenta, la estoy pateando lo más que puedo. Ok. Edit. Tuki. 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 Let's go, guys. Let's go have fun. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Oh, 
Okay. What's the point of going here to Mount Massive Asylum? What is the point? I mean, go to your house and play video games. Oh, uh, dude. I hate journalists. I have to fix the mouse speed and the sensitivity. Not good enough. Let's see. September 17, 2013. From someone to us, I guess. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult of Markov psychiatric systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right up now, but seriously, fuck those guys. <laughs> Everything's happened there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Markov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Then you, who are already working there, take a fucking picture Send it to me, and I will publish it on the journal, on the newspaper. Why do we need to come here and risk our lives? So you know, doesn't lurk <laughs> crashing, how's the game coming along? We are just starting uh, Outlast, we finished Visage, all of it, it was insane, it was really good. Uh, yeah, and I really enjoy watching you play it, so guys, go follow Saba. He's a legend, he spent 24 hours playing Visage, Music and Evil Wizard, if I'm not mistaken. Then I fell asleep, and when he came back, he started playing Visage again. So go follow him, he's insane, it's a legend. And he has a very contagious laugh, <laughs> that I really enjoy. So yeah, go, go follow him, he's a legend. Uh, and he been playing Visage, he is on Rackham's chapter, not sure if he finished it, oh he did actually, but I'm not sure if he started another chapter. So if you like, likes, uh, if you guys like Visage, go f follow him, because he's just starting it. Oh, we can go back. And yes, Abba, we are just starting with uh, Outlast, which I started playing like four times and I never finish it because I'm really scared uh, so yeah we will be having fun with this game now for a bit the controls are kind of weird, kind of weird I'm not gonna lie okay we can do it like open it part weird that's some weird, I know. But we can open it softly or or hard. Run, left shift. I am already doing it. So it's okay. We have to crouch. And then we have to do some parkour. Because this is locked. With the camcorder active, you can zoom. Okay, left click. Guys, I'm really scared. I don't want to play this. I have to change the sensitivity of the mouse again because it's not good for me. Go on, not that's una idea. Apply, and this is better. Jump. What I like the most about Visage is that you just need to walk. In this game, you have to record, you have to. March, you have to run, you have to jump, you have to do parkour. Insane game. Imagine not streaming New World. Hey, Sikin, how are you doing, my man? Yeah, this game has begun. Hey, guys. I will need your company like never before. 
How are you doing, Sigin? Is it you just arrived to watch me suffer? Grinding at the moment. We have books. Nothing else. Ugly paintings. Of course. Left mouse button to open. I wanna hold it and do it like soft. But I can't. This work? Behind me? There's nothing behind me, Sigin, don't worry. Turn around, there's no reason to do it. We're fine. This goes to okay. Okay, we have blood here, guys. Fuck. Okay, we have batteries. We have to reload the camera. Oh, I won't be able to remember that mechanic there. Nothing else here. Okay, I need to change the the gamma. Saba is behind you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> gamma. Dude, I cannot see almost. Is this so bright? It should be really bright. Quick turn around. Nothing. We're fine, Sigin. Don't worry. Okay, we, it's weird to get used to the way that you open the doors. With G, okay. Markov psychiatric systems. Patient initials. WPH Billy. Therapy results. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Unfortunate engine. Activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 8 4. Hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry reveal no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit. Centrifugate again. Fail to separate any docritis. Highly worrisome. worrisome. MRI related arrhythmic REM and REM cycle. Later in REM state. In the view notes. Really ask about the state of the mother's lawsuit against Markov and the Cylon. This represents a Catastrophic breach in security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Trager. Note, the only Trager on company regards one Richard Trager is an executive from MRD. All auto lines and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. I read. Cheers. Okay, and this is it. No more beer. Sadly. Poster check. Oh my god, Sigin, I know your intentions. Okay, let's follow the footsteps. Shut up. Maybe not. Let's go back to the car. Okay, I don't know why, but this doesn't feel as scary as Visage. For now. Even though this game has enemies, what is that, dude? Sapa, that's me. Behind you, stop! Okay, that's not the right way. And when I use the battery, right? You're crazy. is closed of course and I remember a jump scare right here I remember this behind me but IRL fuck you I remember this what is the fucking point of that jump scare dude that's horrible talk to me yeah I remember you Asshole. Nice dude. Fight them. You have to hide. I will, bro. Oh my god, dude. 
Do you have a key for me? I think you did. Do you have a key for me? You don't. Okay, got it. Maybe here? No. Mm, should we go there? What do you guys think? Hello? Oh, I can see. There's a light switch or anything? A hand? That must hurt, bro. Yo te lo sabes esto, David. Es que esta parte la jugué 10 veces, gordo. Literalmente la jugué muchísimas veces. But yeah, I think there's no key from him. This is locked for sure. Little fake. Oh! Where did you came from? I didn't remember that. Sí, como digas. Vivido. I didn't remember that guy. Who are you? No, no, who are you? I ask first. Answer me. You priest? He was behind you? Oh, seeking. <laughs> I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apology. Have you played this game, Seeking? Have has anyone here played this game? Finatra! Como va, brother? Bienvenido. Que sorpresa verte. Alguien acá jugó este juego? No sé qué estamos haciendo. Nope, no pers. I see. You pussycats, pussycats. Hey, can we have a glass on our hands to kill someone? If someone appears. Document, nice. What do you have for me? Oh, nice. Dig, bro. Oh, shit. Poco y nada, no jugué. Ah, estamos en la misma. ¿Cómo estás, Sinatra? ¿Cómo va ese fin de semana? Okay, in the matter of uh, ba, 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 a few bits having been made before the board of directors by Mark of Herland Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. He just heard you so nice dick, bro. Yeah, you did, Sikin. He had a really nice dick. Voy a comprar mucho huevo en un ratito. Así sos, hijo de puta. <laughs> We are satisfied that the <laughs> Sigin made me laugh. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient, sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and crowns for the insurance of this warrant. Eh, no sé si el papá de Nelson. <laughs> Not as good as mine. And you've seen it? True. I, I remember the taste of your meatballs. Muy tarde. Hijo de puta. I'm getting distracted, guys. <laughs> keep distracting me, please. Keep keep it up. <laughs> keep keep it the, the distractions. You're here be required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. The acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives. Surrender all claims of litigation against the Markov Corp or its subsidiaries from action of MHS of the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Mm, okay. Again, do you have anything for me besides that beautiful dick? Guess not. What about you? If some of these corpses move, I will scream. Oh, we have batteries. Battery? What is this? Nothing. Do you have anything for me? Guess not. Nothing here. This cannot be open. Empty room. Perfect. Speaking about distractions, do you remember how you had a pickaxe ambitious and didn't use to defend yourself? Time supplies. Time a place here. 
Do you grab a glass? That you won't use it. I didn't grab any glass, but I was thinking that it should be useful, right? I mean, in this case, you cannot, you, you can't use it. You can use it. It's different from Visage. Why is it so hard to focus? Uh, it looks weird here. Hey, brother. Please don't move. Like, don't move. Okay, don't move. Don't move. <gasps> I'm almost out of battery, dude. I have a document here. There are set. More of machine activity featured at broadly 2000 ppm and safe to progress beyond stage 3 of hormones cattle diagnostics. A spirometry reveal light to medium bronchial accumulation, MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous extensive their mother options as consistent when file morphogenetic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing, seems to have some boyhood, boyhood experience with Tautara, Tautara lizards and their parental eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose, attending Oral lines should be advised to watch for further self mutilations. Wanna play Fortnite? Okay, you seeking? Have a good one, sir. Enjoy Fortnite. And thank you for stopping by. Uh, the mental traumas has subs he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retraining progression of the EMA process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy. It's a manic acceleration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and cycle restraints. It's highly recommended. Let's see. So everyone, everyone is crazy here. Right? To peak. Okay. I'm going to chair, and this is closed. Can we get open? Okay, we need like a key or something. Uh, I was going to do something, but I forgot. Are you alive? You are alive. You're moving. Yeah, disgusting. Oh, there's people here. Nice TV show, dude. You guys having fun? Can I go through here? I don't want to go in front of them. Hey, brother. You look okay. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Holy cow. I don't like these guys. That is locked, I guess, right? Yeah. Mm, I don't like this guy. I don't trust him. We have a key card for security control. Nice. Anything else you have for me, sir? Oh, we can hide under tables, right? Yeah. Oh, we have battery there. Is that a key? No, it's not. Oh, dude, don't move. Got a battery. Anything else? No. Okay. How many batteries do we have? 
Is there a way to check the inventory? It changed batteries. Holy shit, dude, this is scary. No, well, we have the security card now. That's nice. You guys still here, right? Don't attack me. So in this game you have to run. That is crazy. I, I wasn't expected since I've been playing. <laughs> Am I dead? What the fuck, dude? My heart. What the fuck is going on with you, dude? You asshole. Ah, oh, dude. Holy fuck. You can trust corpses anymore. I will quick clip stuff, then you can do a real clip in the dashboard. Oh, that makes sense. You get a marker. So don't worry, I will make a marker then. Hey, what is going on on the bathroom suit? Ah. Thank you, Nico. Oh, I do, that was scary. I got goosebumps. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Mm, tasty. Okay, security room is that way. Oh, and we have the key. Electric room down, library up, recreation hall up, cafeteria up, chapel up. Can we go down? Oh. Closed, thankfully. I don't like horror games, dude. Oh! What is this, dude? Can I go inside? Can I close the door? Is this how I hide? La gordo. ¿Cómo estás, bebé? Hola. Witness? Bathrooms here are disgusting, dude. That must hurt, dude. Holy shit. Why is this happening? What is this place? I don't want to use battery. But they want to record everything, like they ask me to. Battery, nice. Pick the battery. One of you moves, dude. Nice. Close this shit. Sir? Of course you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, this is where we hide on the lockers. They lie. Who? Got those purple things. Security system. Accessing, accessing security system. Why? No, dude. Research generator on the basement. We have to go to the basement. You see a shadow. I see the shadow. I saw the shadow. Oh, my fucking shitting. 
Shit! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm going to the basement. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can. It's open, thankfully. So let's go in and let's go here and let's die, maybe. That motherfucker saw me, dude. Okay, let's read it. A bossy... A hypnotic of the night before wasn't an act. Yeah. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed fear of firing, firearms in any fashion, that she will use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. I heard it going so fast. And finding this, she will pick up a nervy pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage will be so great that she will not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awkward state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that she foregoing the sequence had happened. Is the guy chasing me still? Oh, so this is the only way. Okay, nice. I was like, maybe, why did I came here? Like, did I miss something? Or anything? Or what is going on? Like... Holy shit, dude. Of course we have to go to the... Black Corridor. Who's there? No one's here, dude. Just... Mind your own business. Leave me alone. Is that a chair? What is going on? Oh, that's the the power supply, right? Turn on two thumbs and main breaker to restart the generator. Of course it's not easy. Off fucking course. And I can't see without the Says the reporter, indeed, dude, why, what is my problem? Like... Why is it so dark? There we go, we did something. We still cannot see, but we did something. Let's hide here for a bit. I trust no one or nothing or whatever. I wanna check if Luna said something.
No, 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 no. What the actual fuck, dude? What in the actual fuck? What? What was that, dude? I don't get it. And off fucking course, we have to go back there. The camera, dude. You were right in hiding yourself. True. Okay, I think I know where to go now. Because that door which was locked open now he's coming fuck you fuck mind your own fucking business dude ah just kill me rip my body apart There we go. Fucking finally, dude. <sighs> mm. Cannot tell what my hand is really... ...shaking. Que la chupe la silla me literalmente. Hey, that's locked. So let's go forward to that door. I think it has like a fast save thingy. So maybe we should use that. But it's so dark. Like, how can you see without the camera? Let's do this. Then let's watch what this motherfucker does. He's coming. Got a point, sassy. I don't care what the point is, Nico. Is he opening? He's opening things. Why? Why are you here, dude? I don't understand. No, he saw me. He saw me, didn't he? When am I supposed to go out? It seems like he's gone. I don't hear anything.
We're running out of battery really fast. Where is this fucker at, dude? Oh, we've been here. Parkour, fuck you. I'm trapped. <sighs> Move, asshole. I'm dead. That hurt my throat, dude. I never screamed so bad. Viste la parte donde tenía que prender la luz. Deja de buscarlo al señor. Man, no busqué al señor. Intenté buscar el lugar donde prender la luz. No me interesa el señor. Quiero evitarlo lo más que puedo, de hecho. Why am I doing this to myself, dude? Where is he? Right there. I almost shit my pants, dude. This is scary as fuck. Because you can get killed here. In Visage, well, you actually can get killed. I don't know. It's different. Has to be here. Let's hide a little bit. We have everything on. We just need to go back and enable the generator. I need another beer, dude. Holy fuck, this is not good. Should I open another beer? Beer? Let me see what Luna is doing. See, oh yeah. Yes, you should. <laughs> the thing is, I have to go in a bit because Luna is about to, to finish, I think. He's right here. It's right fucking there. Right there. I need a beer. <laughs> I'll be right back. Of course, sir, you put lever. 
He doesn't want you to do that. I don't care what he wants. Just leave me do my thing and... I just don't know, Nico. I don't know what to tell you. Eh? This is horrible. Cheers, by the way. I run right through the generator. Like, I cannot see anything. Is this the type of game we're playing? The one in which you cannot see anything? By the way, how can he see on the light, on the dark? Like every time he knew where he was. to chop my dick off indeed dude but if you want to use it you can use it with me attached to it right like there's no way to i'm going so slowly dude i'm sorry guys but this is painful for me Okay, fuck you, dude. 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 Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Open this and then we have to do something, but we are dead, so never mind. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go here, and then we go inside, and then here, and then we go to the door, which we can open, thankfully, and now I don't know. No, I don't know. I got an achievement, by the way. I turn on the lights and get an achievement. <sighs> this is not nice, by the way. This is not nice. <sighs> we did it. I didn't saw the new objective. Objective. Return to the security control to unlock the main doors. Yeah, where the big way was. Bueno, fuck this game. Click W. Fuck this game in fucking deed. Back here. The priest, the fucking priest, dude. The one that turned off the the power. I didn't want to have to do this to you. Ugh, that looks awful. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. A 
accept the gospel. That's a fucking ghost! That's a fucking ghost. Mm, lovely cell. Yes. We have a, our camera. Why didn't we bring a gun? Holy shit. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Remember that note. Only other than know when you come to is raced to record events. Insane, dude. Okay, so now we have to do this. Notes. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Things I'm going to be a witness for whatever bad shit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernicke. Wernick. It's at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he did. He died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace. Size the blood on the wall. Oh, we can hide. Cool. Ah, shit! Okay, guys. I have a proposal to make. Let's do the following. Because Luna is about to come here anytime. So, what I think is... I will keep playing this for sure. But today we finished two games already. And I don't want to finish the third one. I'm kidding. But I want to watch the about the lore of Visage. So I want to watch a video about the story behind it and behind the chapters and how every chapter is related to, to each other. So I think... Wait, wh where does this save take us? The cell? Awesome. Okay. I think let's watch a video about Visage and then we find someone to raid because I've been streaming for five hours already. That's a lot for me. What do you guys think? A todo gente, Maye. Okay. Quiero ver un video de Visage. Quiero ver el calore. Sort of power to administrative buck. 42% of the players have this achievement. So there's like 58% of the players that didn't reach the section where I'm at. That's cool to know. Guys, this is amazing, by the way. It's spooky. It's scary, but we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay, YouTube. Visage lore, maybe? Story explained. Hello, and welcome to another story explained video. In this uh, video, outlined house. Psychological horror game, Visage. Game structure. I played a horror game that VHS. As much as this one. The way connection. Use video sounds good. Let me see. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, guys. We're about to learn a little bit about the... The lore of... There we go. There we go. About the lore of Visage. So let me. Hello. Let I'm me know what you guys think. Story explain video. In this one, we'll be looking at the story behind the amazing psychological horror game Visage. Never before have I played a horror game that had me on edge as much as this one, and it really invigorated the genre for me. However, underneath all the tension and pure fear is a story based on real life events, which is just as deep and meaningful as it is terrifying. You ready? Let's go. So at the start, we see a man shoot three people, a woman and two children, and then turn the gun on himself. Fades to black and a person wakes up in a bare room, sporting a limp, and enters through a door into a hallway. It's made clear very early on that paranormal events are a regular occurrence in the house, and it's not long before things start to get really creepy. The character we play upon inspection has no hands or feet and no body. 
At first I thought this is just a developer oversight, but now it kind of makes sense. Our character is actually a ghost. Upon answering a phone call from our neighbor Rose, what? we find out that our character is known as Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. A ghost? Rose, now let's get the initial confusion out of the way. The person who killed the people at the start was Dwayne. He killed his entire family and himself. This is partly mentioned on the radio at the start in the hallway. Essentially, Dwayne is trapped in purgatory, the place between life and a final death, if you like. And he's trapped in the house them. of spirit. Bueno, brother, What's more, Dwayne is being killed by the victims of the house's previous victim. Al, al Dwayne is a spirit, has added weight to every clock in the house at 3.33 a.m. And literally cannot move forward. 3.33 a.m. in donde quieras. The devil's hour, in which paranormal events occur tenfold. So the house featured in Visage is essentially what is described as a mansion. Let's get comfy. ...of the house during each chapter, which likely details the house's changing architecture throughout the years. It's located in Riversdale, Oregon, USA. In a comic book from one of the upstairs bedrooms, which tells us of the neighbor Rose's backstory, we learn that five different groups lived in the house from the year 1961 up until 1985. Three families and two single males. Lucy, her mother and father, occupied the house in 1961. That's a Dolores, first her husband George and their baby in 1962. <clears throat> Lewis Taylor in 1965, Rakan Almatawa in 1970. Wait, Lewis Taylor wasn't that the one that we meet on the fourth chapter? But chapter wasn't about him, right? I mean, when we were searching for the mask, we went into a. I don't know how to tell it. But we went into a locker room, and when we opened the locker, there was like a ID. For Lewis Taylor, right? In Dwayne Anderson and his family in 1985. So let's start at the 1960s. Lucy was a young See? girl who lived in the Visage house with her parents at the time of her death in the year 1961. She was an only child and a relatively normal girl at first, liking toys, drawing, and tree houses. She then developed a friendship with a demon who would communicate with her through the TV. Eventually, Lucy killed her pet bird Pico under influence from the demon. As a result, her parents turned, albeit reluctantly, to medical treatments to fix her declining mental state. Her parents mentioned in the game that the doctors administered treatments through syringes, which Lucy's mother didn't like too much. I didn't got that syringe. But who the hell prescribes syringes for a child? Eventually, Lucy stopped referring to her mother as mum. But then one day, Lucy locked herself in the bathroom and literally ripped off her own jaw under the demon's influence, killing herself through blood loss as her parents desperately tried to get the door open. Tasty. Dolores was a lady of elderly appearance who lived in the Visage house with her husband George and their baby at the time of their death. Dolores, after moving into the house, begins to suffer from dementia, bipolar, anxiety and paranoia. Her husband George tries to take care of Dolores but this backfires, likely due to his misunderstanding of mental health treatments. Dolores' symptoms are aggravating. They tell me she's got symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, psychosis, dementia and more. Dolores, as a result, becomes paranoid that George is up to something and thinks that he's trying to kill her using rat poison. God, that scared me. Holy shit, I didn't remember that part. She has violent episodes, sometimes attacking George and self-harming, eventually killing him in cold blood with seven knives. Due to the guilt, she hangs herself. Now, Lewis is fairly mysterious, so we'll get to him a little bit later. Raken was an ex rugby player with a tall, muscular appearance. Louis, but he lived on the house. In his disappearance in 1970, Raken, after moving to the house, begins to suffer from a disorder called scopophobia, which is defined as an excessive fear or anxiety caused by the feeling of being watched or stared at. Oh, I remember. Paranoia as a result. This... There you are, little piece of crap. You think you can get me that easily, huh? Nice try, you fucks! Raken is admitted to a psych ward after firing a weapon in his home. The neighbor Rose reported him. He tries to escape due to his paranoia, breaks his legs jumping from a window, and after many tests, he escapes his room again, and ends up in what seems to be an underground part of the hospital, or it could be his home. We see that he gets locked up in a room, where he eventually dies. Dwayne is the main protagonist of Visage. He lived in the Visage house with his family at the time of his death in the year 1985. A seemingly devout Catholic, Dwayne, after moving in, soon began to develop an addiction to alcohol and also developed depression and anxiety, further exacerbating his drinking. Dwayne suffers from a mental illness, which is why there is a stress mechanic in the game. 
Um, neglected his wife and children more and more and eventually killed his family and himself and ended up as another victim in a long line of victims of the Visage Mansion. But is Dwayne really a victim? No, he's fucking not. So he killed his family. The simplest form is Dwayne finding out and investigating what happened to the previous occupants of the house, Lucy, Dolores, and Raken. Yeah. The stories behind these three make up chapters one to three, with chapter four being Dwayne's story. And Actually, then what happened with for Lucy, Dolores, and Raken? But there's no chapter for Lewis Taylor. Yeah, what happened with Taylor? Because Lewis's story is a little bit different. Okay. Throughout the game, Dwayne attains seven VHS tapes, three after completing chapters and the other four upon finding them scattered about the house. These tapes are addiction, greed, negligence, indifference, pride, prison and affliction. But before I go into what I believe these tapes tell us about Dwayne and his past, I need to mention something called Project MK Ultra. In the 1950s and 60s, the, chemical the CIA project? was tasked with creating a mind control drug which would be weaponized yeah. against enemies of the US. The director of the MK Ultra program, Sidney Gottlieb, paid around $240,000 to buy up all of the world's LSD and distribute it to hospitals, clinics, and prisons under the guise of a bogus foundation, asking them to carry out research projects on patients and prisoners. Let's start by breaking down each VHS tape. In the addiction videotape, we see Dwayne being told by a man in a plague yeah. doctor's mask, which obviously symbolizes Dwayne's thoughts and his guilt, to drink his problems away, leading to an, an easy one to beat. Alcohol. Don't you worry, my friend. Just take a sip, and everything's gonna be back to me. Cheers, Dwayne. Go ahead. Drink a little of this wonderful poison. Have you read it? It'll do you real. Man. What developed this alcoholism? Well, what comes next might explain this. In the greed videotape, we see Dwayne signing a contract which simply says, "You don't give an f." See, it's my theory that Dwayne was involved in Project MK Ultra and was working for the CIA. My thinking is that this could have been a non-disclosure agreement which the government made him sign to keep their involvement in MK Ultra a total secret. It's like I want to read the what the contract says. Like the my thinking is that this could have the been title of it. Disclosure agreement which the government made him which sign. Which I didn't have the chance to look for. Ultra total contract terms. I can't read that dude. Involved in Project MK Ultra and was working for the CIA. My thinking is that this could have been a non-disclosure agreement which the government made him sign to keep their involvement uh, in MK. Ah, it was one second later. Dwayne was involved in Project MK Ultra and was working for the CIA. My thinking is that this could have been a non-disclosure agreement which the government made him sign to keep their involvement in Response, Dwayne? Ah. Makes sense. It doesn't say anything about MK, though. In MK Ultra but it makes sense, though. Which was, in fact, a classified operation. This is what, what does they think started. that the we make the, make the patients die family and turning to drink even further because this of us testing drugs with them what the government is making him do in the indifference videotape we learn that Dwayne has basically stopped caring a vision of his wife accuses him of having a cold indifference recently you've been scaring everyone with your cold indifference his tape also shows that Dwayne is taking various pills and his wife asks who is prescribing them for him Dwayne is essentially taking these pills to help him deal with his guilt, the drinking, the depression, and the anxiety of what he has done and his involvement in MK Ultra. His wife even says to him that she is only with him for his money, and that she thinks it's probably blood money, but she doesn't even care. Yeah, but that's like... With you because you have money. Yeah, that's something that he thinks probably I think, blood blood money, because I it has a man's voice on top of it. It's pretty much confirmed to us what Dwayne did for a job. It's a little bit of a yeah. He spent some of his time working in a chemist's lab. Yeah, I've seen this. There's a timesheet on the side with his name on it, and there is a chemical structure for LSD hanging on the wall. This oh, that makes even more sense. Pharmacy. Prison is a VHS tape in which Dwayne has to knock down four walls to escape through an exit wall while being hunted by an apparition of a tall man covered in a dark substance. I believe this tape serves as a visual representation of Dwayne's fear that he would be sent to prison for his involvement in MK Ultra, and possibly something else. Finally, in the affliction video, tape, Dwayne is... walks through a water, water treatment plant. After walking oh. through, Dwayne ends up at a well. Bodies start floating up to the surface of the water, and Dwayne gets pulled into the well by a guy who looks like he's covered in something. Now, is that significant in any way? Well, yes, I think it is. 
Remember right. I talked about MK Ultra, the super yeah. secret CIA experiment, which ran from 1953 to the mid 1960s. Took the place during the Cold War yeah. response to the efforts of the Soviet Union undertaking their own mind control experiments, which raised a significant interest in psychological manipulation. This project was eventually shut down around 1966, and all records of it were destroyed in 1973. Before it was officially shut down, it was widely believed by officials that the thought of introducing LSD into the water supply to control an entire populace was in fact an effective one. Could no, be really? Is referring to that the water supplies were secretly being spiked and people were dying as a result. Is Did this that happen? Station of Dwayne's guilt for what he was involved in. Certainly interesting. In this tape, we also Did that happen, dude? Pass from someone's locker. Remember, yeah. I mentioned Lewis Taylor earlier in the video. This locker belonged to Lewis Taylor. Rose mentions in the comic that Lewis has been unhappy working at the water treatment plant for a while and that she's worried about him. Has something sinister been happening at that water plant? Ah, okay, no sabemos si es well, real. Black substance that leads to Lewis Taylor's lock. Hay un pero como que para el juego sí. Lewis Taylor's photo on his past. Para que chon se resemble someone that we've seen before. Ah, oh, maybe. So I believe that through everything we see in the game, it all loops back to Dwayne. Dwayne worked as a chemist in a lab. Sí, sí, lo del MK Ultra me me suena, o sea, lo lo, lo leí en algún lado también. Now, Pero no sabía lo de la planta de agua. To distribute LSD to hospitals in order to carry out research projects on patients. Let me go back because I didn't hear a little bit. Something sinister been happening at that water plant. Notice as well the black substance that leads to Lewis Taylor's locker. Familiar? Lewis Taylor's photo on his past certainly seems to resemble someone that we've seen before. Hmm, that's so weird, but I believe that maybe. Everything we see in the game, it all loops back to Dwayne. Dwayne worked as a chemist in a lab producing LSD under a company named called Health Pharmacy in 1953. Mm -hmm. Now we know that the CIA used bogus foundations to distribute LSD to hospitals in order to carry out research projects on patients during the 50s and 60s. Lucy was given medicated at a hospital by a doctor sometime before her death in 1961, as this is confirmed through dialogue from her parents and that there are numerous depictions of Lucy being drugged. Yeah. Doris was evaluated for mental disorders before her death in 1962. She was suffering with dementia, but I do believe that she was being given LSD at the hospital, and as a result, wow. she experienced other changing behaviours and developed other issues as a result. I never saw that I believe on the game. The timeline of the MK Ultra experiments, and they were essentially being administered LSD. Due to the location of the house, they'd likely both went to the same psych ward for treatment, the same psych ward that we visit in Raken's chapter. Lo and behold, both Lucy and Dolores' conditions worsened and they ended up killing themselves. MK Ultra shut down in 1966, a year after the death of Lewis Taylor. I think Dwayne had an even bigger role in the MK Ultra fiasco than we were actually led to believe. I think Dwayne was being manipulated by his higher ups into carrying on secret work for the CIA, and I believe that they placed him at the water treatment plant under the guise of being an employee. His job? to spike the water supply for Riversdale. One problem. I believe Lewis Taylor found out- Riversdale. Dwayne, with no other option, killed Lewis Taylor, likely drowning him. This explains why Lewis Taylor appears in the house as an apparition and haunts Dwayne. I mean, this leads us on to Raken. everything makes sense so far. The CIA covertly spiked Raken's water supply with LSD and bugged his house to watch him and surveil his behavior. This was perfect for them as Raken lived alone and there was no collateral. We meet Raken and get glimpses of his behaviour, his paranoia spiralling out of control. He thought he was being surveilled and watched, and he actually was. This is why in the Raken chapter, through the eyes of Dwayne, we experience it as if through the lens of a surveillance camera. It's because Raken was actually being... Claro, porque... Lo... Claro, o sea, como que... Fue todo, todas las muertes de la casa pasaron en el mismo momento, entonces... Eh, ponele, las vacunas que le daban a Lucy no eran vacunas, sino que era LSD líquido o las drogas que le daban a Dolores para evitar su esquizofrenia en realidad era LSD que tenía otros efectos en ella y bueno, la llevaron a su demencia entonces como que lo intentan relacionar y bueno, después decían que en el MK Ultra en el MK Ultra tenía como proyecto meter LSD en las cañerías de la ciudad para afectar a más gente Entonces lo meten a Dwayne en esa el lugar de agua, que no me acuerdo cómo se llama, para que meta su droga. Y el loco este, Luis Taylor, lo encuentra, entiende su plan y por eso Dwayne lo tiene que matar para que no lo. lo, lo digamos, lo, lo comente, o digamos, ¿no? O sea, cuente el secreto, ponele. Vincula todo por eso, como que, claro, claro, claro. Y tiene mucho, tiene tanto sentido que da miedo, te diría, por ahora. 
Eh, si es una teoría, está demasiado bien armada. Tiene que haber algún comentario de un developer por ahí, me parece. Porque está demasiado bien armada. Demasiado. Monitor. When he fires his weapon at what appears to be an apparition of Lewis Taylor at the start of chapter 3, his neighbor Rose hears the shots and calls the police. Probably more out of concern for Eddie mm. than anything else. And here's Nico, the pasala muy lindo. Saludos a Mia, disfruten, saquen muchas fotos. Saludos al bananero. Saludos a la gente de Aspera. Canten mucho. Pasen a lindo. He claims that someone broke into his home. Hola, soy Andy. He's got no evidence of a break in. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle. Oh, perdón. When he fires his weapon at what appears to be an apparition of Lewis Taylor at the start of chapter 3, his neighbor Rose hears the shots and calls the police. Okay. Probably more out of concern for a neighbor than anything else, and he is sectioned. He claims that someone broke into his home and bugged it, but police could find no evidence of a break in. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break in. This would indicate that someone gained access to the house, someone who had easy access to it and knew the layout. Raken mentions in the hospital that the medication they are giving him is making everything worse, and he is getting more and more paranoid and violent. It's not really clear what Dwayne is doing at this point in terms of work. He could be at the water treatment plant, and he could be working surveillance for the CIA. We simply don't know. Yeah. But he knows Raken somehow. Raken even uses Dwayne's name, as did Dolores. Did Dwayne at some point work at the hospital in the psych ward, administering LSD to the patients? Certainly an interesting theory. In terms of MK Ultra, it wasn't until 1977 that US Congress held a hearing and put a complete stop to it. At this mm. point, the project was made public knowledge, but most of the individual records of people being used as experiments were destroyed. Mm. I think that Dwayne moved into the house after the program shut down around the year 1977 to be closer to his work. It's clear from the glimpses into Dwayne's life that he harbors massive guilt for his part in the experiments and the lives were. Para entonces todos los otros personajes que aparecen sin rostro pueden ser parte de todo. Sí. O sea, si lo relacionamos con eso, sí. Tendría sentido. Tendría sentido. La verdad. Si lo relacionamos con eso, da miedo que tenga tanto sentido, de hecho. <risa> As a result, Crazy, dude. he seems to be a devout Catholic and even has a confessional booth in his home. Dwayne probably felt that he couldn't leave the CIA or the project due to the fear of being silenced. After spiraling, Dwayne eventually succumbs to his guilt and depression and kills his entire family and himself. Dwayne wakes up in purgatory and has to live out the trauma of his three victims uh. before he can find peace himself. I'm certain that this is how everything circles back to Dwayne and that he was involved in it all from the start. Why does the vision of Dwayne's wife and the indifference tape mention the exact way that Lucy, Dolores, and Raken died? Moreover, do you want to rob? Do you want me to kick the back here? Symbolizes Dwayne's guilt. Why is Dwayne's guilt saying this as if he's the one that did it? Want me to stab you with seven knives? Seven knives. Want me to rip the jaw off your ugly face? Rip the jaw. How about I break both your legs and leave you to rot in a cellar? Dude, you're a disgrace. Dwayne essentially crazy. Deaths, however small, and now needs to face up to it. When Raken is left to die in the cellar, someone mysterious wearing a suit shuts him in and locks the door. I'm not sure if I 100% Dwayne? believe this is Dwayne or not. It could be, but we'll never know. Anyway, that's my theory on what I think is the underlying story of this great game. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave crazy dude. thoughts. Subscribe to. Holy fuck, that's crazy! And actually, I remember there's a comic on the game. Eh, research comic online. Let's see if this. If we find it. I want to read it. O sea que loco. Muy loco. Es una teoría de no. No sé si comparto 100%, pero que. No tiene falencia, ¿no? O sea, como que nada de lo que dicen es muy fuera de lo común. Tiene mucho sentido todo. Tiene mucho sentido. Demasiado, da miedo lo de tanto sentido que tiene. What? Dash comic. Read it online. Is this one? It is not here. Porque si no sabrían que estaba loca al otro lado. Claro. 
Lo del limbo también tiene sentido, como que está ahí para aceptar las culpas que tiene sobre la muerte de toda la gente, principalmente de la gente que murió y que vivía en la casa donde vive él. No, man, muy loco. Wait. The Nate, the Nate Burst Comic Pizza. I think it's called, right? Steam Community. Porque nunca leí esto. Nunca lo leímos y no quiero abrir el juego para leer el cómic. Si no queda otro lo abro, pero. Baja. Ok. Mm. One nine sixty one. No, no. Let me go, that's my baby, that's a child. I will lose you know. No, no, no. Let's go this way, man. The chair and a glass of water. That sounds good, right? We've got just a few questions for you. Okay, so this is Lucy who ripped her jaw off. He died. She died. Sorry. Frank. Something happened to that pretty girl. Okay. Uh, but I cannot read it, dude. Oh, I missed one page. Sorry. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Wait, she's talking to herself again? To please give me the... Give me evils. She's dead, Franklin. Are you even listening to me? Or is dead? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Rose, you just... Gotta see this horse. They call him Ed. He talks. Attacking horse. Can you believe it? I'm going outside. Okay. Goes outside. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. You see now, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry, I don't mean to scare you. I'm 50 year, 52 years old. 52. You're lucky you didn't... Ah, you're lucky you didn't give me a heart attack. I've seen already, seen enough broken hearts for one night. Which is exactly why we are here. This area is under investigation. We ask that you stay in your house until further notice. What happened to Lucy? Or in her parents? We are not at liberty to discuss. It's very confidential. No, ma'am, I'm telling you one last time. Stay inside your. Stay inside until further notice. May este cómic lo habías leído vos? Lo habías visto? Seguro que lo viste, pero. Voy a abrir todas las hojas. ¿Nada? Mmm. Gore. No estoy, estoy intentando no ver nada para no spoilearme, pero... Tenía demasiado miedo como para leer. <risas> ok. Someone's laughing. I guess it's Frank. Ok. He drinks a glass of water. New neighbors have a kid, just one. Oh, I know. I could never leave a house where someone died. Rose, how much longer? I'm starving. Don't make me eat this goddamn remote. Try give me five more minutes. Dinner is almost. Blam. Let's start. Less talking, more cooking. A single man, no kids. A big house like that. Well, don't get any ideas about our new neighbor. You're stuck in this wonderful and happy marriage. <laughs> oh, calm down. You know it's not like that. I'm just worried about Lewis. He seems I'm happy. Lewis. Okay, so this confirms that Lewis lived on the house where we moved lately. Insane. It wasn't walking on him, she seemed like a nice young man. Oh, sure. I hear you telling Sister Anne about your new rugby player neighbor. Admit it, I know you want Rakan. You're always looking for some man to smash. Oh, so we threw something at him. Hello, Dwayne. Everything is destroyed. Hello, Dwayne. This is Rose, your neighbor. Oh, that's the first call we get from her. 
I know it's late and I know I tend to be a little anxious about small things. I apologize for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out in the house about three weeks. Is everything all right? Will you call me to let me know everything is fine? All right. Bye bye. Shit. Bros, holy fuck. She's drinking Frank's blood, dude. Mató al esposo. Look who's still on. Yeah, dude. Good morning. 7 a.m. for you. Hope you're doing great. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Todos. Lewis, Lucy, Dolores y... Rakan. Eran... Todos eh, vecinos. Tengo una puerta, tengo puesta una remera de Mars Attack. ¿Te like it? Me encanta esa película. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Alan. I hope you're doing great. Thank you for joining, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the stream since we are living in a bit. Living crying like crazy this morning? Oh no. Say hi to her. Lovely baby. <laughs> Está muy buena la película, sí. Mars Attack is a great movie. No, this was insane. Insane comic. Holy shit. Holy shit. Crazy game. The story about it is insane. Fucking insane. No te entendí, pero gracias. Eh, te decía que muchas gracias por el follow. No sabía que hablabas español, perdóname. Eh, gracias por ese follow y que espero que estés muy bien. Que ya nos estábamos yendo. Así que vamos a ver a alguien de radiar. Ah, pero antes quería ver un video de Your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This pet crocodile was begging for attention and wanted to cuddle. Antes de irnos quiero ver este video. ¿Cómo estás Alan? Bienvenido. Gracias por ese follow, che. Te aprecia un montón. Good luck guys. Good luck guys. <laughs> oh. You want to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> no! What? Crazy dog. These people couldn't believe that this guy knew how to speak Nigerian. Yeah, like, this is white boy Nigeria. Hey! A tornado came through and picked up some cars in a parking lot. This is scary, dude. I found a YouTuber that put a camera on a toy car and had to travel through their backyard. Insane. Is it the out is it the outlet? Is it the outlet? Are we yelling at the outlet? What did you do? If you take water and pour it into the glass, <laughs> it will reverse the image of whatever is behind it. I knew that. I don't want to tell you, my mom. I asked him how he's been. <laughs> These university students created a rocking chair that also knits you a hat at the same time.
that's the end of this video. Please let me know. No way, dude. I would really love to know. And Insane. Okay, we're gonna Insane. watch one, one, one more. This one. And Hello that's everyone, it. this is your daily dose of internet. Someone made this incredibly realistic wolf mask. Impressive, dude. Holy fuck. A car oh, was cute. out of control and rolling down a hill when someone jumped through the window to stop it. Clap, clap for that man, dude. What a legend. My god! Oh no. One of my subscribers sent me a video of a spider bouncing on their web. Some spiders will bounce like this as a defense mechanism when they are scared. Really? Two, one, see ya. No way, man. <laughs> These food delivery robots seem to keep having issues. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, A company built hundreds of mini castles to turn them into luxury homes, but the company went bankrupt in 2018 and they still stand there today totally abandoned. And we're like in the mountains too, so it's like beautiful out here. That is scary, dude. This is pretty scary. That, How would you like to run into this guy underwater? We now have the ability to turn humans into diamonds by using the cremated ashes from a loved one. Tenemos que ir un día a explorar todavía, ¿no? Where it is turned into pure carbon. It's high pressure, high temperature. Quizás Shayarel. No, gracias. One of our master cutters takes the rough diamond and cuts the exact shape and size out of that rough diamond. My only goal in life is to be as happy and carefree Me as this little bird. That's the end of this video. I hope everyone has a ah. nice rest of their day. Okay. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Cinco minutos más, si nos quedamos hasta las seis horas de stream. O sea que no. Creo que nunca hice seis horas de stream. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. I found a video of an orca stalking a guy on a paddleboard. I have to change the title. A little bit. Hey. Hey. Hello. This <laughs> woman Same. to some really big babies. I tried to copy that girl. You know, everyone knows her. Um. It is not for the weak. I don't know if I'm just weak or my babies are just chunky. All Tesla vehicles have security cameras that are recording at all times. This guy obviously did not know this because he thought he could scratch and dent a Tesla and get away with it. No way, dude. What an asshole. Let me see you smile. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. This guy surprised his mom while she was on vacation in Italy and she didn't even recognize him. Give me looks. Oh Christ. Hello. Oh. You scared the crap out of me. That's it. That's the response we got? Holy s. <laughs> That's the response. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he put a weird face, right? Oh, get wrecked! A sea lion was being chased by orcas and jumped on this person's boat to escape. 
Oh, my thingy. See you. The cool thing about chameleons is that as soon as they are born, they're ready to run around and move. video. I really hope you enjoyed. No way. I'll see you guys again very very soon. Later. That is insane dude. He just was being born. What the fuck? I wanna be a chameleon dude. Hello everyone. This Baby go mad. Can someone please tell me what is wrong with this cat? What's your head? Watch your head. Lower your... <laughs> okay, you're not learning too quick. Alright, watch your head. <laughs> These girls found a squirrel on the side of the road that they thought could use some help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 No, it has been updated, right? The category, the tab is changed. It's just chatting now. But we have been playing Outlast. <laughs> Welcome in, Sosa. How are you doing? Guys. Why didn't the sound alert uh, work? One second, Sosa. Because I want you to... Uh, I want to show you something. <laughs> One second. It should be working. How are you doing, sir? I watch you were streaming. No need for it? Yeah, there, I, I need to show it to you. One second. One second. Speak. One little second, Sosa. That's all I'm asking for. One second. How are you doing? How was your, your stream? I've seen you been streaming Dark Souls. Sound effects. Rosa. Submit. Let me close this a little bit. Chatbot. Let me reopen it. Yes. Stream was good. Then nameless happen. You reach nameless king already? What? Have you been playing Dark Souls 3? Really? Really? Insane. Okay, there we go. I have joined and I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Please. Tell me it worked. Tell me you hear it. <laughs> like 50 times there. That's nothing. That's nothing. Nameless can be a pain in the ass, dude. Congrats for beating him. Wait, have you killed him? Or we're you're trying to do it and die 50 times? Moment. Please tell me that the audio worked, dude. Need to be louder? It will. One second. Eh, 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 events. Sosa. Edit. Volume. Review. Speaking of enjoying, um, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Please tell me it worked. <laughs> I did not kill him. I'm gonna eat. And turn practice turn on. Nice, nice, nice. And spend 12 hours here. <laughs> nice, dude. That's a great plan. What will you be having for dinner? Oh, that's loud. One of my subscribers it was to take down a beer. Awesome. Will <laughs> 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 it be louder? Okay, I can fix it.
Someone on a bike ran into a police officer, and the amazing thing is that the police gave him a fist bump and let him go. <laughs> Crazy. Don't worry, the cat was totally fine. What an asshole! English words in Japanese. McDonald's. McDonald's. Ultraman. Ultraman. Burger King. Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. That's super scary. This is chicken with rolling shot. That's Maddie Rice. That's Maddie Rice. What is that? like longer or something bueno man pero re mal mm. it looks longer aromatic oh nice well I hope you have a wonderful dinner Sasa that sounds really tasty que onda con el bot lo reinicié para escuchar el audio de Sosa <laughs> recorded this video showing how this effect distorted the propellers on an airplane. Crazy. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry, I gotta do this. Oh, okay. Hey, don't get on the sign. I'm not. <laughs> I just said don't get on the I'm sign. I'm not on it. I'm not on it. I can see you. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a squishy watermelon before? Ugh. Disgusting, dude. Ending now. I really hope you enjoyed, and <laughs> I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Cute. Okay, guys, Hello. let's find someone to raid. We finished Bishash, Dosa. What's insane? Oh, I'm so big. I hate me. I hate myself. Go away. There we go. We finished Visage. And we finished Dagon too. Two games in one stream. I did. It was awesome. You should play it on Halloween. <laughs> hey, who can we raid? Oh, Bender is playing Dark Souls. Did you raid at Bender? I had to on the entire time, but it was streaming too. I, you're so cute, Sosa. I love you. Muchas gracias, Maya. Yo también a vos, pero te amo. You didn't raid Bender. Oh, he has a ton of viewers today. That's great. I think we can raid him too because no one is on. Raid Chris. Chris Happy. Let's raid him. Why not? Let's raid him too. Chris Happy with J87, right? That's the account. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you all for being here. It was a great stream. We did a lot of things. It was really funny. And we finished Visage, we finished Dagon, and we will be starting playing. Outlast. We have to keep playing it. It's quite spooky, gotta say. But yeah, thank you, Alan, for that follow. Gracias, Alan, por ese follow. Gracias, Maggie, por ese host. I hope everyone is doing great and have a wonderful night and enjoy dinner and the rest of the weekend. I love you all. Play some music. Sorry, I always forget to put some music on. There we go. Just remind me of Dino. Of Dino. There we go. Hey guys. Love you all. See you.
Holy shit. Hey Isa, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Welcome on in everybody. Yeah, we fucked it immediately. How's it going? Welcome in Raiders. If you don't know, I'm Chris and usually we are running just now DS2 Sorcery old base game. Damageless. But we're also up against Sosa in the Wizard Wars tournament. So we are doing some practice for that. There is every possibility I was there, Sax. Oh, I think I remember what this was. <laughs> Genius is what it was. I'm like, what do we want here? Dark. Get rid of that. Give me that. Now we've got dodgy strat. Perfect. 